Okay, what is a disc? Uh, if you have been told that you have a disc bulge or a disc herniation or you suspect that you do, you might wonder, why do I even have these things? They're just going to herniate and cause me pain. Well, that's what I want to describe or should say talk about in this video. Describe the functionality of it and that will give us some insight into ways that we can help it heal faster. So first of all, let's talk about what it is. <laughs> it's essentially a spacer in between the bones of our spine. We have these right here and they act as flexible spacers. It's really what allows us to move. If we were just one rod of bone without these um, spacers, without these discs, we would have to essentially move like this. But we don't. We can move around. The spine can move because we have these discs. Now the other thing that they do is they act as a uh, shock absorption system. Now to understand this, it might be helpful to understand the three parts of a disc. So let's go over that. On the outer layer, the very outer layer of a, di of a disc is this dense, uh, tough, fibrous tissue and it is called an annulus fibrosis. In the middle of that, we have what is called a nucleus pulposus. That is more of a, a fluid or even a gel-like substance. That is the part that can herniate. That is the part that when it does herniate is usually the, the, the cause of someone's low back pain. Now sandwiched above and below that nucleus pulposus. So again, we have the annulus fibrosis is the ring on the outside. The nucleus pulposus is the jelly in the middle sandwiched above and below that we have a cartilage material and it's called an end plate that end plate is actually the absor absorption portion of it. it has a little bit of give to it a little bit of spring to it if you will so when pressure is exerted i mean think about this 80 percent of uh, our body weight forces go right through that disc so just standing up or just sitting for that matter forces are going through that disc pressure is going through that disc that center more fluid component well it's going to exert its pressure back up on that on those end plates up and down on those end plates and outward on that um, annulus fibrosis as we move and here's the important part as we move around it helps to distrib distribute pressures forward backwards but different parts of the disc so for example somebody bends forward there's more compression on the front part of the disc and the forces will cause that nucleus pulposus, that fluid portion, to go backwards. The opposite way, we bend backwards. There's more compression on the back part right in here and that causes more forces to go this way here. And that can become useful information uh, in later videos. We'll talk about how we can heal disc bulges and we can use some of that information to understand what might be some, some good positions for us to be in and what positions that we want to avoid. Um, but that's the basic understanding of what a disc is, the functionality, and just the main components. This will set us up to understand uh, what causes disc bulges and other forms of disc injuries and what we can do about them. So if you're interested in that, in the description below, I have more links. Please go ahead and move on and you can watch some of those videos. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'd be more than happy to answer that for you.